Hi friends, hello, hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Hello, so first of all, candle of the day, vanilla snowflake, love it, it's a great one. Uh, second of all, I changed up my lighting setup a little bit, so if it looks off, it's because I'm still tweaking with it and working with it and I'm not entirely sure what exact settings these very very bright blinding lights need to be on. I switched to LED, we're gonna see how it goes. Third of all, today's video is one that I feel is very important to me and I know already based on, I feel like I can kind of pre-tell a little bit of what some of the arguments of the videos I make are going to be if I post about it on Twitter. I feel like Twitter is a very good bouncing board for some of the things that people might disagree with me on, might agree with me on, kind of things like that. Um, but I do feel like this is a really important issue to talk about and I think it kind of opens us up as a platform to a much wider conversation uh, and something that does need to be shared. I want to start off this video. I noticed that the channel Spill does this in her videos and I think it's actually a really good idea. I know it doesn't necessarily prevent people from doing that, but I do want to say if you could just not send hate to any of the parties involved that I'm talking about, specifically on my behalf or because I incited you to do that, don't do that. It's not a cool thing to do. Uh, going and attacking people is never what I promote or want to happen when I make a video like this, and I just want to make that so clear. And I think I'm going to start doing that more in these types of videos because there is never a reason to go and attack a person viciously online unless they're like Onision. So with that being said, I do want to get into today's video. So we are going to be talking today about the issue that's happened over the past couple of days with the owner of Makeup Geek Marlena Stell and Tina from The Fancy Face here on YouTube. I have to say, honestly, I'm pretty disgusted by this whole situation. So I'll kind of explain to you what went down and then I'll give you my opinion. I guess. Um, so Tina the Fancy Face here on YouTube, I believe she's almost at 100,000 subscribers. So she's not like a massively large channel, but she has a lot of subscribers, a lot of views. She does a lot of makeup content, but she also does do her like car chats where she talks about things. I really enjoy those videos. Um, and I like Tina. I've always liked Tina, never had an issue with her. And Marlena Stell is the owner of Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek was a very popular brand a few years ago, kind of fell off a little bit and Marlena explained kind of why that was in her video titled Dear Influencers. Talked about that whole thing, talked about everything that happened with her brand, um, and very recently her brand Makeup Geek did this massive rebrand, this massive relaunch. Um, I actually bought from that because I was eager to support Marlena, and I feel like I want to make that really clear. This isn't coming from a place of hate. I am going to be criticizing Marlena in this video because I think what she's doing is not okay, and I very strongly disagree with the decision making behind what she's doing. Um, but I will say, I before this happened, I have had so much love and respect for Marlena and have really, really respected her just as a person, as a businesswoman, as an OG creator. She's been creating on YouTube for like 12 years. I have a lot of respect for her. And I think that kind of comes back to an initial point that I try to make in a lot of my videos, which is you can like and respect someone and wholeheartedly disagree with something that they do. And that's where I'm coming from with this video. I wholeheartedly disagree with what she is doing. And that's kind of where I'm coming from with this. So I'm not like a lot of people in Twitter were, were presuming that I was like a hater of Marlena because <laughs> I was calling this out. That's not the case. I bought from the rebrand because I honestly not even because I really was interested in the palette but because I wanted to support Marlena. So I just want to make that really clear because I can already tell this video is going to get a little heated. Okay. I'm not entirely clear of the beef or the backstory behind this but I know when Marlena made her kind of big video uh, she did include topics about Tina the fancy face and did show emails from Tina. In those emails, like the receipts that she had up on the screenshot, uh, was Tina's full name. Which there's been a lot of kind of back and forth on if this was Marlena doxing Tina because she did have her email address blocked out, but it did have her full name. In my opinion, I don't think it was a purposeful dox. I don't think she left that name in to purposefully try and dox Tina. However, it happened. Putting out someone's entire full name when that is not public information that they had out there, uh, I would consider that doxing because that's that would be like if somebody if I'm trying to think of like, like tea spill like if somebody put tea spills full name out there I would consider that a form of doxing um and I do think that if creators want to keep a sense of anonymity they're completely entitled to do that but with that being said I definitely don't think that Marlena was like evilly plotting to put this receipt in to like dox Tina I don't think that's what happened I think it was a slip up and not correctly blocking things out I think that was the problem so Tina uh did address this with Marlena she tried 
tried to get her attention on Twitter. She said she sent her an email and showed proof that she did in fact send Marlena an email at the time this video went up, which was about seven months ago. So Tina did everything she could to get in touch with Marlena. Nothing happened. Um, and I guess fat, I don't think there's been any huge issues between them since then. Uh, fast forward, uh, Tina found out that Marlena actually blocked her on Twitter, which she was pretty upset about, which I kind of understand. I think in Tina's defense, she definitely thought that the, they were at least being like civil human beings. They weren't like attacking each other. And then she found out she was blocked. I can understand why that would upset her, especially considering she never got a response from her trying to reach out about her full name being in this video that has like over a million views. So I completely understand Tina's frustration with being blocked. On the flip side, I'm also a person that does believe that if you want to block someone for whatever reason, that's your prerogative, that's your right, you can do that. So I don't fault Marlena for blocking her. However, I do fault Marlena for not responding to Tina's initial requests to have that part of the video blocked out. So it seems like Tina went on YouTube and filed a privacy complaint against the video. And this is where it gets confusing, I think, for people, even people who are YouTubers, it's kind of confusing um, because the copyright system is really, really weird. But if you're not a YouTuber especially, this is kind of confusing. A privacy complaint put onto a video, uh, especially a video like this one, alerting the person who made the video that another person felt their privacy was violated by the video. It tells you exactly kind of where that is, gives you a timestamp of where the violation happens, and it gives you 48 hours to use the edit features in the YouTube Creator app, because you can do that. You can blur things, or I think there's a couple different things you can do, but you can like blur things out, I know, post-production after uploading a YouTube video. So if that kind of makes it so if something like this happens, a person can be alerted that they did dox somebody's name and then they can blur it out, okay? So Tina did file this on that video. I do think the reason she filed it was because of her getting blocked on Twitter. I think that was kind of the last straw because she had been trying to get Marlena's attention and it seemed like Marlena was just kind of blowing off what Tina was saying. That, what Tina did is completely in her right. If she didn't want her full name out there and her full name is not public information, that is a privacy violation. It doesn't do anything to Marlena or Makeup Geek's channel. It doesn't take the video down. It doesn't do anything. It just alerts them that there's a problem and they have to fix it. That's it. It's a pretty easy thing to fix. So I just want to clarify because I think a lot of people are comparing what Tina did to what Marlena did and the two are in no way similar. What Tina did was alert the content creator that there was a problem. So <laughs> then uh, after that happened and Tina sent that out, Tina then later on posted a video saying that her channel had received a copyright strike. If you guys don't know, copyright strikes are kind of like <laughs> really bad word. They're kind of like a dirty word for YouTubers. It's kind of scary. Copyright strikes are really, really, really serious. The copyright strike system was made, essentially, to protect people's work. So if I was an account on YouTube and I decided that I wanted to make money by re-uploading David Dobrik videos and just no commentary added, no nothing, just completely, just completely re-uploading four minutes and 20 seconds of David Dobrik videos, and that's it. Nothing added to it, no changing it. I just re-upload his videos. That is why the copyright system was put into place. So you could prevent people from making money off of just re-uploading other people's content. That is the reason it was made, and that is the sole reason it should be used if you are either using copyrighted music, which music is a whole kind of more complicated thing, but really the main focus is copyrighted video, right? Now, this copyright system gets incredibly abused on YouTube. One of my recent videos for the first time ever was actually copyright claimed. I did a video talking about the evolution of David Dobrik and his channel and his management company copyright striked it despite it being fair use, despite it being transformative. The clips I used from his videos didn't even have sound on them. None of them were more than 10 seconds long and it was completely within my right to use those clips because I was transforming the content. Thankfully, in my case, I got very lucky because David Do I actually, David Dobrik, I, I, I kind of publicly tweeted at him and like put him on blast a little bit, but he actually messaged me me and was like, hey, I'm sorry this happened. I'm going to text them and fix it for you. And then he did. The claim got released, which I've heard is not common for YouTubers to do that for small creators. So I really respected that he did that. I strong, I, that's a side note. I meant to talk about, about that in another video, but since we're talking about copyright, I'll just say I really respect David for doing that. But management companies kind of notoriously do this. So copyright strikes can be kind of dangerous because if you get too many of them on your channel, I believe it's three copyright strikes, your entire channel can be taken down. Uh, the video gets taken down per preventing you from gaining any ad revenue off the video. There's a whole slew of issues with copyright striking somebody's video, especially if it falls under fair use. So when I saw that Tina's video had been struck, I looked at the little screenshot. It showed that Makeup Geek was the one to strike the video 
and they're under the contact information it was Marlena Stell's personal email and having watched that video from Tina and knowing that she didn't even use any clips from Marlena or any person knowing all of those things I was I was pretty mad I really really dislike that people are still abusing the copyright system to try to silence opinions that they don't like there was a whole case a few years back between h3h3 and another creator this creator basically tried to extort them because they used some of his videos and he claimed it wasn't fair use but they fought it they went to court and they won commentary is fair use there's been court cases on this so abusing this system and continuing to use this system just to get videos taken down that you don't like really grosses me out especially as a creator it's taking away someone's income it's putting their livelihood at jeopardy because your entire channel can get deleted without warning if you get too many strikes it's really it's a serious thing for youtubers like it's not a good thing to do you would think because Marlena has been a creator on this platform for 12 years I would have thought that she had more integrity than that and so I posted my initial tweet and I was like this is messed up this is really screwed up you shouldn't do this and I added her and I was like please fix this this is not right this is not okay you can't do this to a person just because you don't like the content of the video and Marlena responded to me and said that she was going to consult with her team she was gonna look into this she's gonna address it and I was like okay great and which to me this is why I'm like sus about this whole thing now because to me responding to me and saying oh my I'm gonna look into this I'm gonna have my team look into this means that she didn't know that this happened so a lot of people that was their defense they were like well maybe it was like a makeup geek intern maybe it was somebody at makeup geek and they didn't tell Marlena and I was like well it still used her email so it seems unlikely normally it would be like the makeup geek business email if that was the case however like maybe maybe you're right and I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt because I'm like why would somebody do this right especially someone like Marlena who has kind of built up her reputation as being this upstanding really high a person with a lot of morals right so I was fresh I was like thinking I'm waiting for her response and then she posted an Instagram response that just was so frustrating <laughs> she talked a lot about the doxing in the first kind of part of the Instagram post and I will say she should have she lied she didn't tell the truth um and whether she actually got the emails from Tina or she saw the tweets from Tina or not uh doesn't really matter because she's trying to claim that Tina never reached out about the issue when Tina did try to reach out there's proof that Tina tried to reach out um but I again I still believe that it wasn't an intentional thing I don't believe that she intentionally tried to put her name out there I think it was a mistake and that's why I don't understand why the privacy claim would make you so upset because the privacy claim is just alerting you to that mistake so you can fix it anyway <laughs> that was like weird to me I didn't understand that but then when she finally does start talking about the copyright claim Marlena said that she is the one who did the copyright claim she says never in her 12 years on YouTube has she done a copyright claim and so she didn't understand how it worked she said she didn't know that it was going to delete Tina's video and for that she is sorry but she said she felt she was in her, within her right to put a copyright strike onto Tina's video because she did not like Tina's title. The title of Tina's video had the words makeup geek in it and Marlena said she felt that this title was clickbait and misrepresentative of what the video actually was and that Tina should not be allowed to use the words makeup geek because Tina was talking about a personal problem that she had with Marlena herself. Didn't feel that that should be reflected upon makeup geek. Didn't feel like when people searched makeup geek that this video should pop up because it was a personal problem that she had with Tina. And that makeup geek is a copyrighted term. So that way, this, this got me mad. Makeup geek is a t copyrighted word. So that means that she had every right to copyright strike this. And all she wanted her to do was change the title of the video. And then she had every right to keep it up because she's not trying to silence her. And I call so much, so many lies. First of all, she tried to make it seem like she just like casually did this because she happened to find Tina's video. Because Tina's video at this point is like two years old. I almost wish that Marlena had just been honest about it because, and, and I don't love to be like oh I know their real intention because I'm not Marlena I don't know her real intention it seems a little bit cut and dry to me that Tina put the privacy strike on her video and Marlena was kind of pissed about it so she wanted to do something to Tina it seems a little transparent that that's what that that's what it was um, again I'm not Marlena maybe she really did just suddenly decide to care it seems a little obvious to me that Marlena this was like a retaliation move on Marlena's part to Tina's actions right and I kind of wish Marlena just owned that she tried to be like I didn't understand that the copyright strike was going to take down the video whereas if you look at the page you have to go through to process a copyright strike in very clear bold 
font, it says that this is a request, first of all, it's a legal request, a request to take down the video. I kind of tried to look into this a little bit as far as copyright terms. Like, is it actually a copyright issue to use a brand name that is copywritten in a title of a video? Like, is that is that wrong? And the best I could find, and again, I'm not saying this is like 100% the truth because it was kind of confusing, but the best I could find is that copyrights only are put into place for specific things. So Marlena only has a copyright, people calling their makeup brand Makeup Geek. Um, I don't think copyright extends to people writing something in print or writing something for consumption. And, and it, I could be wrong, and if you're a lawyer or copyright lawyer, like let me know if I'm wrong here. But that would mean that anytime somebody put like Tarte Cosmetics in a title of a video, Tarte would have the right to copyright strike that video. Which it seems like more brands would be doing that <laughs> if that was a thing that they could legally do. And it, also, copyright strikes are typically for forms of media. And like I said, Tina didn't use any form of commentary or media from Marlena's video to warrant that being copyright struck. I thought it was interesting that Marlena tried to spin this narrative of like, I'm not trying to silence anyone. I totally understand that people criticize other people and all of these things. But it's like, you are trying to silence her because you're trying to separate a situation that you had with her from your brand. And at the end of the day, you're a very public face of your brand. If we've learned nothing from people like Kat Von D and Jared Blandino, people take pretty seriously who a person is on if they're gonna buy from their brand or not. I would argue that anything to do with Marlena Stell is pretty synonymous with Makeup Geek. And I would also argue that based on having watched Tina's video, granted I watched it a while ago and it's now struck, it's taken down, it's still not up despite this happening a couple days ago that Marlena said she was gonna fix it, still not fixed. As of me recording this, I'll update you guys in the comments if it has been fixed. Um, but Tina did talk about Makeup Geek in her video. She did talk about Makeup Geek as a brand. She did talk about products, which by the way, clickbait isn't illegal. <laughs> Clickbaiting a video isn't illegal. So even if Tina didn't talk about Marlena Stell or Makeup Geek in any way, none of that's illegal. And that's what copyright striking is. It's accusing someone of doing something illegal. But what's more illegal and what's more morally wrong, in my opinion, is false copywriting somebody's video because you don't like what they're saying about you. And that's what Marlena did. Putting a name of a copyright, that doesn't make any, okay, I'm gonna stop with that because like I don't officially know that, but that based on what I've read about copyrights, that's not how that works. Putting a name and a title is not illegal. Falsely copywriting someone is. And the problem is, I think a lot of people do this. I found firsthand from like when I dealt with this, a lot of bigger management companies who have bigger brands and bigger influencers even who have the time <laughs> and the money to kind of fight stuff like this, they do this as a way to silence people. The copyright system, while I believe it has the best of intentions, is inherently abused to silence smaller creators. And as much as Marlena claims that's not what she wanted to do, she just wanted her to change the title, you aren't allowed to tone police a YouTube video. <laughs> you aren't allowed to police a title or tags or what a person says unless it's something like, you know, harassment or slander or anything like that. But that's not what she's claiming. She's claiming she didn't like that Tina was associating their personal drama with Makeup Geek. But Marlena doesn't get to make that decision. <laughs> and I think it really sucks because as I said at the beginning of this video, I like Marlena. And I also really like Tina. I think they're both great people, great creators. I think they're different people. But I think there's plenty of room for Tina's opinions and Makeup Geek to still flourish as a brand. But for whatever reason, Marlena took this opportunity to try and change and silence something that somebody was talking about in regards to her and her brand. And that's not acceptable and it's not okay. And it's not something we should stand for. And as I said in the beginning, I'm not saying go get out your pitchforks or anything, but I really hope that she learned from this experience. I'm so sick of people false copywriting other people to try and hide things. It's infuriating at this point and it's illegal. I can't stress that enough. Falsely claiming someone and falsely striking someone is illegal. You can't do that. Marlena has been on YouTube for 12 years and she is trying to expect us to believe she has no idea how the striking system works and doesn't know how copyright works and all of those things. And I'm sorry, but I just don't buy it. I don't buy that she can be this savvy businesswoman who knows exactly what she's talking about and has been on YouTube for so long one minute and then the next minute playing dumb. Like she doesn't know what she's doing. I think she knows exactly what she's doing and I honest, I honestly just wish she was honest about it. I wish she would just own it. Be like, yeah, I was being petty. I shouldn't have done it. Let me take the claim off. That's all she had to do, honestly. And I would have been like, okay, still don't agree with what you did, but at least you're owning it. And the other thing was on her Instagram stories, she talked, she apologized to Tina, which Tina's blocked. And you know, I kind of understand making the public apology just because a lot of people are talking about it. Like I get that she wanted to address it. So even if Tina couldn't see it, like I kind of get it at least. But I will say Tina said that the email Marlena sent her after all of this happened, Tina said it was incredibly aggressive and she didn't answer the email. And then sure enough, Tina received emails from 
from Makeup Geek's lawyers now. Um, and I actually was able to see certain things. I talked to Tina about this because I didn't want to, I was gonna make this a video, but I didn't wanna get her in trouble <laughs> with anything. Like I didn't want me talking about this and bringing awareness to this uh, to negatively impact her or anything like that. So I asked her, I was like, is it okay if I talk about this? Is it gonna impact you? And she was like, no, like go for it. I got her full blessing to do it, which I really appreciated. But she also shared a couple of things with me and I saw kind of what's been being said between her and the lawyer. And I'm just gonna say like the fact that there is now a lawyer contacting her because she is speaking her opinion and her experience on social media, it just doesn't sit well with me. It does not sit well with me that there are people who are using lawyers and copyright strikes and all of these things to try and control a narrative around them or their brand. I don't appreciate it. And I hope that this is something Marlena has learned from, but it doesn't feel like it is because she's calling all of the criticism that she's getting online for doing this objectively wrong thing and actually a legal thing. She's calling it hate, telling, saying people are just attacking her, saying people are just, you know, blowing this out of proportion. And it's like, no, you did, <laughs> this is what bothers me about it is like because that doesn't show growth that doesn't show that you acknowledge that what you did was wrong in her video she didn't even acknowledge that falsely striking it was wrong she didn't even acknowledge that she tried to justify it by saying makeup geek is a copyrighted name which doesn't make any sense I don't know definitely an all-in-all -all frustrating situation um and I think a bigger issue at play here is just the way that the copyright system is used I know that a lot of creators have definitely criticized the copyright strike system before and YouTube has not done a ton to fix it um and I hope I I hope they do. I hope they start listening to creators because I know it has negatively impacted so many people. I think over a year ago at this point, but you know, Manny MUA falsely struck T-Spell and he did end up releasing it and he did apologize and all of those things. And he hasn't done it to anyone else. But at the end of the day, it's like you're taking away someone's right to talk because you don't like what they're saying and you're doing it in an illegal and immoral way. And nothing about that is okay. That's, it, that's undefendable to me, regardless of your intention of why you did it. That's not defendable to me. I that's that's just how I feel about it. I just think it's so messed up <laughs> and I'm really disappointed um, with Marlena and I think a lot of people are I think a lot of people are really I've been talking about it with a lot of my creator friends and I think all of us are just kind of like why what was the point of that <laughs> was the point of trying to silence somebody um, who you know just was trying to speak to their experience on something just not right let me know what you guys think about this whole situation down below I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say I know some people agree disagree with me I know a lot of people like love Marlena um, but I hope I laid it out in a clear way to let you know why you can still love her but acknowledge that like this was not <laughs> the move. <laughs> um, I love you guys so much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. Honestly, just so happy you're watching me. Thank you so much for being here. My merch, my social media, and everything I'm wearing on my face, including my little smoky glow highlighter, um, will be linked down below along with a link to register to vote. That's right. You can click on that link. You can register to vote. And you can be part of your democracy in any way, shape, or form that you want to be. Um, and if you're not from the United States, that link does not apply to you. Please make sure you're staying informed on what's going on in your part of the world, what's happening in your country. Use your voice in a positive way if you can, because the world absolutely needs more of that. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!